this feels good, I'm over killing this Put up your fists if you feel it is Make me chop no cool if you feel me Kai, I can get very mad I they come down the road I they come down the road Nothing said this man be mu mu I they come down the road This feels this, this good, I'm over killing this Put up your fists if you feel it is Make me chop no cool if you feel me Kai, I can get very mad I they come down the road I come down the road Nothing said this man be mu mu I they come down the road Hey everybody, it's your girl Tony Tones, your favorite fashion photographer, and you are watching the Liz Yamoja show, so do not touch that dial. Hello and welcome to the Liz Yamoja show. Um, today I've got my very, very first journey to success candidate. I've got fashion photography, Tony Tones photographer. I've got fashion photographer, Tony Tones on the show today. It's going to be a really interesting episode. Thank you very much for coming on to the show. How are you today? I'm great. It's my pleasure to be here. Thank you guys you have to look at the very, very beautiful scenery. We're here in Lekki, a, um, a very, very beautiful restaurant. It's called Oriental, but you know, I learned show now. <laughs> while I'm saying, no, it's me that you should focus on while I'm saying all this. She's saying when she says. So yes, I'm here with Tony Tones. I, like I said, thank you very much for being on the show. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. How are you today? I'm great. Feeling good. Nice sunny day. Yeah. Right, yeah. So what, what, tell me about your day. What does Tony Tones get up to? So what did you do today? Um, I got up, drove my sister to the airport. Okay. Is she going anywhere interesting? She's going back to London. She okay. just came in for my cousin's wedding and she's okay. going back today. Came back home, took a shower, got ready, came here to meet you. Okay. People. So not a typical day then? No, not really. Okay. What's your typical day? Typical day is me waking up in the morning probably have a shoot sometime in the morning, come back home, get some sleep, get up, start editing. <laughs> you're awfully okay, close okay, to, okay. I feel like you're in school because you're um, so close, compared to me, you're so close to them. <laughs> Move back, yes, relax. That's the way to be. You know what, I want the camera to have a look because apart from photography, you're into fashion, aren't you? You're very big on your fashion. So, where are your shoes from? Um, no one should mind that brand, not peel on the floor. Yeah, they're very cute. <laughs> and I was saying, how far with all the holes in the tights? It's just me, you know. You buy tights, at some point they lather up. I don't know if it's lazy or not. I'm just kidding. I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I like that. I you just, like it? Yeah. Okay, that's great. Um, and your dress, where's that from? Um, I can't remember. <laughs> I had this dress where I, I think I'm not sure, you know, don't, I know I got you on this, yeah. I think it might be from a vintage store from New York, I think ooh, so. Ooh, ooh, vintage store, check you out. But I don't, when if people hear vintage, they think, oh, it's so cool, and it's old Vintage stuff. is called, <laughs> no, but it's meant to be like, uh. Vintage, vintage store, it sounds a lot more glamorous than it actually is. You have to go Most in, of the time, it's really I, dirty, it's really, the armpit areas are probably sweaty. Okay, no, 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 no. I don't, I, 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 I don't buy the dirty ones. But it's just, you have to look really hard to find the special pieces. You don't yeah. just go into a vintage store and see wonderful, beautiful vintage pieces. You go in and see loads of crap. You do, you do. You have to have a really good eye. You have to be patient. You have to look carefully before you find something. Like, oh, That's this, why this cool. I prefer Harrods, where everything's <laughs> neatly stacked in my size, size 12. I, I like Harrods, don't get me wrong. I like Harrods too. I like selfridges. I, mean, I like all the good stuff. But then there's some stuff that you cannot find there because, you know, they're not made anymore. Yeah, so I know go, what you mean. You I go wore digging for really, them. really... To, um, there's this MI concert actually, his very first in London, and I wore a vintage dress. It was gold, um, like gold embroidery here, mm -hmm. but suede, mm -hmm. and it was £20 from Portobello. But I know that I walked the whole day to find that. But when mm -hmm. I found it, I was like, Ugh. I had to go and fix the zip there because I think I was a bit fat. For <laughs> it, I broke the first zip, but yeah, um, I got that. Anyway, thank you very much, like I said, for being on the show. Let's talk about Tony Turns. What do you do for everyone out there who, don't, who doesn't know you or has not come across you yet? Um, I am a photographer, mostly, preferably a fashion photographer, but then I do, you do, everything, I do everything else. Okay. Not, so, yeah, go on. <laughs> weddings, portraits, 
adverts, stuff like that. Magazines? So, yeah. Okay. And you also do shoots for people? Yeah, I do. So, okay, so yeah, you do magazines, you cover the kind of a wide spectrum. Yeah. Um, I'll be completely honest, it's only kind of this year that I've heard of Tony Tones. I think um, what really did it for us in the UK, because everyone in the UK were a big fan, they were big, big fans of Coco Mansion. Um, so for us, when we saw you know, this fashion photographer, Tony Tones, who, I'm going to be honest, I, I don't know you that well, but we have a few friends and come on. I've had, I've had a couple of friends say, oh, they know you. So I was like, I didn't even know you did photography. <laughs> um, but yes, how did that start? Um, I'd say the reason that you hadn't heard of me till this year is because I just started. Okay. Professionally this year. Okay. How did my, how did I go into professional photography? Yeah. Um, it's really funny, actually. I've always been obsessed with photos, with um, photographs. Anyone that knows me, I, I used to love being in front of the camera as much as I now like being behind it. Yeah. So Although I, you it, try it, to get in front of it anyway, <laughs> like with Emma. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I think that um, it started with, I used to love taking pictures, but I didn't love taking pictures because I was like vain. I just wanted to see myself. Because I, Are you sure? I, 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 I wanted, I loved creating beautiful pictures. So I, I used to love looking at beautiful pictures of people. I would see a picture and I would, and I would just, you know, and I would, in my head, find myself looking at pictures and thinking, oh, this would have made this picture better. Or this could have made that picture better, you know, stuff like that. And then um, I was, I started to, I wanted to learn how to edit because I wanted to be able to edit my own pictures and make them really Make you beautiful. look slimmer, <laughs> maybe, sometimes. <laughs> I just wanted to, you know, I was just obsessed with beautiful images. So, of course, any image that I created, even if it was of me, I, w I would want it to be as beautiful as I could, as I, I, as I could get it to be. Yeah. And then, um, when I would take pictures of other people, I would automatically start to direct them. You know, do this, do that. Even if, even if it was at a party or if it was just for fun. Yeah, I like put your hand like I'll this. I was like, no, I'm not taking put that. Your that, doesn't, that doesn't look good. You know, <laughs> so I would just automatically start to direct people. And then about um, about three years ago, was it four years ago, I bought my first SLR okay. camera. And I didn't buy it because what at the make time, was it? It was a Nikon D40X. Okay. Right? It's my little baby. I still have it. Okay. You know. Um, I bought it at the time, not because I was thinking I wanted to become a, a photographer, but because I wanted the, the, I was so obsessed with pictures, I wanted the good quality pictures that only SLR pic cameras can give you, mm. you know, and all my friends, they thought I was so crazy, they're like, this camera is so huge, and it's big, how are you, it's so expensive, and it's massive. How much was like, it? It was about 600 pounds at the time. Wow. You know, for a camera. Just, 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 well, that take, was a just, flight, that's like a flight to Nigeria. <laughs> yeah. At that time, yeah. <laughs> Exactly. So they were like, you know, it's so expensive and it's so massive. Like, how are you even going to carry this anywhere? But I was like, you know, I don't care, whatever. I just want the, the, the good, good quality, quality pictures. pictures. <laughs> you know, I was just obsessed with getting the best what picture was, I could. Were you putting them on Facebook or were you doing yeah, these pictures? Yeah, I would yeah. take them and put them on Facebook, you know, okay. stuff like that. I'm the kind of person I've always, since I can remember, I've always had a camera. Since I was old enough to have my own digital camera, I, I would, I always had a camera on me, wherever. Okay. I would always have a camera in my okay. bag, okay. you know. So I got that camera and then I would just... I would like photo stalk my friends. We would just be sitting down talking. I would just oh, start taking pictures. I think I pissed a couple, not pissed a couple of you off, but they would get frustrated. Like, can you just stop taking pictures? So um, from there, obviously, even then, I didn't know that I wanted to become a photographer. You what know? did you think you were? I just I, all I knew was that you know I just want to see beautiful pictures. If I you know. <laughs> but then, what but did then, you want to do as a career? Oh, I studied marketing and economics in in university. So okay. I wanted to come back. Initially, I wanted to come back here and go into the advertising industry. I wanted to go into outdoor advertising mm -hmm. and come and bring, I wanted to bring in like digital billboards into Nigeria. At that time, we only had about one or two. Now we have a couple, but that was what I wanted to go into. Mm -hmm. you know, so all that time, I still wasn't thinking, oh, I'm going to become a photographer. I was just thinking, I was just obsessed with pictures. You know? Right. So um, eventually, the obsession became more than obsession, it became a craze. I mean, I wouldn't, sleep. I would just stay online and study pictures. I would look, I would, you know, study Who's famous pictures. Just, there, there, there are like um, sites that you can go on, like Shutter Chance, okay. where different photographers come on from all over the world and they put on their images and other photographers can critique or anybody can just go in and look, okay. you know? So there are different, there are like different platforms that get where you can just go in and observe pictures and I would just be on those all day, every day for hours, just looking at pictures Serious. and just, you know? So, I mean, at some point I wouldn't sleep. So at some point I think I decided, you know what, I want to learn how to, no, I, when I started taking pictures of people, the feedback that I got was really good. They were like, oh, that picture is great. People always, whenever I went anywhere with my camera, people always wanted me to take their picture. Come serious. And take picture. Like, serious? And I'm 